hours later. Oh, hey. What's up, YouTube? What's up, guys? Um, yeah, just got back to my hotel. Um, currently taking some ketones and some uh, BCAAs. What's up, YouTube? Good morning, happy Sunday. And this video is gonna be a beginner and it's gonna be my five tips to success on a keto diet. Number one, um, you really gotta find your why. Why do you wanna do this? Why do you want to change your life? Why do you want to take the next step in either weight loss and just bettering yourself, um, whether that be longevity, whether it be you just wanna be there for your kids, you wanna be there for your children, you wanna be there for your spouse, whatever that may be, you have to find your why. Um, when I started this journey two years ago, my wife was pregnant and that was the one thing that really drove me and really got me to do this was I wanna be there for my children when they're older and I wanna be able to go in the backyard with them, run around with them, play with them, be in the park with them. I want to do all those things. So you really have to find that inside of you. Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to do it? Number two is going to be commitment. You really, really have to be committed. You have to be dedicated. It's something that if anything in life, if, if you're not committed to it or you're not dedicated to it, are you really going to be successful at it? Um, this may not be something that you're going to do forever. That's fine. Um, but while you're doing it, you have to be committed and you have to be dedicated. All right guys, so number three is gonna be restrict your carbs and your sugar. Do not eat carbs or sugar on the keto diet. That is probably the most important thing. When I started my keto journey, I literally went through my cabinets, got rid of all of my carbs. Anything that had carbs in it, as far as like, if it was like a starchy carb, so if any, all my rice, I threw all my rice away, I threw all my pasta away, I threw all my stuff away that had carbs in it, had sugar in it, that was not good for me. Keto is, it's a clean eating. Just pick a protein, pick a veggie that's good with carbs, that's the broccoli, that's asparagus, that's kale, that's whatever vegetable you want to eat that day, Brussels sprouts, green beans, whatever it is that you want to eat, cauliflower, and then mix that with a healthy fat. Cook all that in butter. Cook all that in avocado oil. Cook all that in coconut oil. Cook all that in whatever kind of healthy fat you want, some extra virgin olive oil, whatever it is. And I promise you, if you do that, and you have eggs and you have bacon or sausage or whatever it is for breakfast and then your lunch and your dinner is just a protein source with a veggie and some fats you guys will be successful I promise you as long as you guys are committed and dedicated and you guys follow this I promise you you guys will be successful number four um, is eat fat fat is your friend in the keto diet so eat fat eat fat eat fat um, I eat fat I drink fat I take MCT oil stuff like that so fat is your friend um, but good healthy quality fats not nasty fats not fried stuff stuff like that obviously that's not um, keto friendly but I mean, what diet can you have bacon and eggs and like mounds and mounds and mounds of bacon? That's a diet? What? And I can have bacon? Eat fat. Um, number five is this diet is testable. So you can get the urine strips, you can get the blood strips. 
it's testable. There's not many diets out there that you can say, oh, let me, hold on, I gotta see if I'm actually on my diet. I have to actually see if I'm into ketosis. There's, there's not another diet out there that I can actually say, oh wait, hey, I need to test this and see if I'm actually doing it right. So it kind of can keep you accountable, but it's, it's testable. So you can test your blood, you can test your urine, stuff like that. So that's another great tool that we can use on the keto diet. I do want to throw one other, um, if you want to type thing, just to throw it in there. Um, and that's exercise. Exercise is always good. Exercise is good on any diet and any lifestyle. Um, the more active you are, the better you're going to just feel, the better you're going to be. It's going to be just better for you in the long run. So if you want to introduce exercise on the keto diet, that is absolutely wonderful. All right, everyone. So this was my five quick tips for success on the keto diet with a bonus tip, which was exercise. Um, if you guys like this video, if you guys want to see more of these videos, please comment below. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Give me some love, guys. Thank you guys so much if you guys are watching this. Um, the first video was pretty successful, so I'm just looking to continue this success and continue this journey. Um, if you guys just want different videos, please put something in the uh, comments below as to what it is that you guys want to see. Um, also, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Keto Driven. Um, I will answer any questions that you guys have on there. I'll answer any questions that you guys have in the comments below. But please like, subscribe. Thank you guys so much, and I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace.